Hey guys, I'm Dob, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. We're here today with a very special replay, courtesy of our good friend Sarmation. He's going to be taking the Wood Elves against the Empire, and as you can see from the proximity of the armies and from the unit selection, this is an all Vanguard um, Wood Elf army. We've got a front line of Wild Riders here, second line of Dryads, we've got the uh, Wardens of Kithral, a regiment of Brown. Uh, Wildwood Rangers, a Branch Wraith, one unit of Way Watchers, and Orion, who has just popped Horn of the Wild Hunt. We'll see the effects of that in just a moment here. On this front line of State Troop Swordsmen, we've got Spearmen around the flanks, two units of Demigriff Knights with Halberds, juiced up with a Warrior Priest, Volkmar the Grim on a horse leading the way with a Jade Wizard, two units of Hand Gunners. And yeah, with that very brief and quick army introduction out of the way, let's go ahead and watch what happens with the Horn of the Wild Hunt against these very light State Troops here. A little bit of an uphill charge is sort of awkward, but that massive charge bonus basically just one-shots these units of State Troop Swordsmen, more or less, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that's some pretty good value right there. Volkmar charges forward, gets a little bit out of position. He's only got 80 armor, though, so he does have to be careful. Orion's gonna run forward and try and take him out, but uh, the Demigriff Knights, obviously, not too happy about this situation. Gonna come forward and try and get out on this flank, but check out these Wild Riders. They are bold as all be, just charging straight into the Royal Altar of Griffites. They are going to try and get away here before the second unit of Demis gets in there, and the uh, Warrior Priest, Warrior Priest, also coming in here, dropping that Shield of Faith, that Grand Hammer of Sigmar. So yeah, these uh, Demis are going to absolutely tear the Dryads to shreds. The Wild Riders that are still tangled up in here will also get torn up. You can see the two two groups of the Wild Riders have actually taken quite a bit of damage, but two are still online, and this Empire infantry is just getting ransacked. I mean, they are getting run over like. You know, Grandma got run over by a reindeer, except this time it's, you know, thousands of state troops getting run over by reindeer. Um, so, yeah. Orion dropping a very nice bombardment there on those light state troops. Uh, the Demigriff Knights are doing very well up over on this side, but the Wardens of Kithra are being used to kind of screen them off. Uh, Orion's in here as well. Obviously, he does heavy anti-large AP, so he can do some good damage there as well. Waywatcher's also focusing in, so all of the armor piercing that this Wood Elf army does have is focused on these two units of Demigriff Knights, which is obviously the biggest danger right now. I mean, these Wild Riders can pretty much clean up all of this infantry no problem. Um, but with the Demigriff Knights, obviously, that's not going to be quite so easy. They're going to get in here and get this unit of Wild Riders that was in the back line. Just do a ton of damage to them. You can see them dropping the Reindeers. No problem. So, yeah, a Angry Chicken Riders, Angry Chicken Knights, very good against the Reindeers, just so that you guys know. But uh, there are still a few units of Wild Riders online. The, the Way Watchers also very secure at this point. The... the uh, I mean, there are a couple of units, rallied units here that can protect. But the Demigriff Knights, obviously, being so preoccupied taking out the Wild Riders, aren't really going to have time to run back here and shut these guys down. And there's no other mobile units for the Empire, so pretty rough stuff at this point. The Warrior Priest, a little bit out of position here, though, trying to chase down these Wild Riders. Looks like the Jade Wizard may be targeted, uh, but instead, uh, Volkmar, who's trying to get down here and shut the uh, shut the Way Watchers down, might take out a couple of them here, is going to get surrounded by Wild Riders. So again, a pretty dangerous situation. The Wild Riders actually have good enough combat stats, and looks like the Horde of the Wild Hunt is active again, so that extra charge bonus will apply to, to a Volkmar, you know, in that situation. And yeah, we'll see the Free Company Militia firing in point blank here, but a nice rear charge from those uh, Wild Riders. Looks like the Horn, unfortunately, just wore off, but one unit of Demigriff Knights down. The uh, Royal Alt of Griffites are still online, though, but we do still have some Way Watchers here with some ammo. They can start shooting at the Royal Alt of Griffites. Uh, another really nice bombardment from Orion, taking out some of those uh, swordsmen who are blobbed up around the branch right there. But it looks like the Althor Griffites, yeah, they're able to stay disengaged for the most part from these Wardens of Kithral. But here come the Waywatcher volleys. This is going to be pretty pretty decisive here. Can the Demis get into the Waywatchers before they all get picked off? Because they're pretty low on HP. Likewise, the uh, Waywatchers don't have a ton of ammo left. There are some units of Wild Riders here who can support, but it looks like the arrows, a lot of them actually going into Volkmar instead, which is a little bit painful. That being said, if Volkmar gets routed off here, obviously the Empire is going to start uh, facing some major leadership issues. So I do think that keeping these Wild Riders here against Volkmar was probably the right idea. Uh, regardless, though, that is going to let the uh, Waywatchers get caught by the Altorfker fights, not before doing some damage there. But uh, here we go, some more Wild Rider charges, just wrecking the uh, Silver Bullets here. 
definitely like the pick of the silver bullets in case you face a heavy tree build. Um, I don't think that one unit of handgunners would really necessarily be enough, but it's good to have some insurance against something like a Durthu or, uh, you know, an ancient tree man or something like that. But uh, Sarmatian very much going in the opposite direction of the either the kites, you know, the, the kite slash skirmish wood elf or the uh, tree death star wood elf, both of which are very different styles. This is an even more different style, which is the uh, YOLO bro charge from Orion, <laughs> all vanguard, super fun, and ended up working out pretty well so far, we'll see. Um, Empire's mostly done for at this point, getting pretty close to critical army losses, but uh, it's mostly just the heroic units that are keeping this all together. The Demogriff Knights are mostly done for, there are a few left here, but they're getting caught up by the uh, Wardens of Kithral here, so some fancy, you know, uh, backhanded Azurai spear stabs going to take out the last few of them. And with the Empire leadership still hanging together, they'll continue fighting for some time. But it looks like uh, 11 of these Sigmar sons also still fighting here. But yeah, let's see who Orion goes after. Not really sure. Looks like maybe he was going to get that uh, Jade Wizard there, but who knows. Volkmar does have flaming attack, so he will be able to do some good damage to that Branch Wraith, but I don't think that the Empire can bring this back. They're certainly going to try, it looks like, to use some of their more mobile units, try and resecure some of their ranged units. If he can take out these Wild Riders, Orion, though, is going to be the biggest issue, especially because he has Cloak of Isha, no doubt. Yep, and uh, so that's going to make him extremely hard to kill at this point, so yeah. Oh man, Orion coming in with the Steel Chair, just absolutely spearing those uh, Free Company in the face. Wild Riders also getting a nice charge here, so yeah, that should terrify them away pretty quickly. And it's just a matter of time here. We'll see. Sigmar Sun still fighting. Wardens of Kithral exhausted, taking some damage. Actually, Sigmar Suns will trade pretty well there, uh, considering the cost difference. But yeah, these Wild Riders, this unit that's still online, able to ping pong around, apply rear charge penalties, and with Orion soaked in there, it's going to be, you know, terror causing as well. Here comes Orion with the Steel Chair, going to take out the. Uh, Warrior Priest? Nope. Looks like he's actually going to go after Volkmar here. Can he get him? Looks like a bit of awkward pathing. Not trying try to be nice and not uh, bowl over the branch, or the, not the branch, right? The Dryad there. But uh, yeah, Volkmar obliges by charging over. And then Orion's going to start to teach him a lesson. Volkmar obviously just cannot stand up to Orion in a duel. Um, his melee defense will protect him from maybe a couple of those swings there. But once Orion starts to make solid contact... Uh, Volkmar is going to be pretty much done for. Yeah, once his back's turned, he takes a hit there, and that should be it. Maybe. Angry Orion chasing Volkmar. Volkmar's not immune to psychology when he's on the horse, or is he? No, he's not. He's not unbreakable, obviously, either, unless he's on his uh, pimp wagon. But Orion decides to throw a spear, eclipse Volkmar, does some damage to him, but it's not quite enough to finish him off. We'll see, though. Looks like some regrouped free company going to continue to fire in from the high ground. And honestly, it's been a pretty close battle. These Wardens of uh, Kithral have been pretty clutch here. Another Hounds of Orion unleashed. Looks like Volkmar got routed off there and just not happy about this situation. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much critical army losses here. Royal Alt of Kithrites came back from route trying to get into those Way Watchers. But there's only three of them, so they can only do so much. And that will be game for the Wood Elves. So, a very fun battle. You know, I say that, of course. It looks like this Jade Wizard... Yeah, actually hits army losses as well. So, fun stuff. Well played to Samation. Big thanks to submitting that one, or for submitting that one, rather. Uh, it was a fun battle. I always like to see use of the Horn of the Wild Hunt with Wild Riders. They're just such a powerful combo. And one of those units, 176 kills, 3 XP chevrons. Yeah, this Light Empire Infantry did not stand a chance. And the Mass Infantry Empire actually does work pretty well against the Wood Elves in a lot of cases. But you need some heavy cavalry to back it up. Obviously, he had the the Demogriff Knights to try and deal with the Wild Riders. They were able to deal with some of them, but just not quite enough. They also took a lot of damage from the Wardens of Kithral and from those Waywatchers as well, who were able to get some XP Chevrons themselves. Um, you know, the Demogriff Knights just took too much damage from the few AP targets, uh, the AP units that the Wood Elves did have. And it ended up being pretty decisive in the late game there, as they were not able to slow down or stop those Wild Riders. Um, if you, even if you had like some Empire Knights, I think they they can stop up Wild Riders with their heavier armor. Um, obviously, with a hundred charge, Wild Riders will probably do pretty well on the charge. But if you can last through that initial few seconds, uh, through that initial burst of damage, I think Empire Knights, Reichsguard for sure. But Empire Knights most likely would be able to hold out there. I'm not 100% sure on that, but 
I'd have to do some testing. Um, but I want to say, you know, just cost cost wise, they're significantly less than the Wild Riders. They're only 850 compared to 1100 for unshielded Wild Riders. So, you know, you could really get some better value there. I think I do understand the pick of the Demis, though. I think having at least the Royal Althorfs with the Warrior Priest, um, if you have with the Banner of Eternal Flame, can be great insurance against a heavy tree build. I think, though, if you were to cut this other unit of Demis out, maybe cut the shields from the Spearmen, you could possibly afford uh, a second, uh, like, two units of Empire Knights, just to give you a bit more numbers and uh, just to have uh, more numbers to stop up enemy cavalry. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, though. Certainly a fun replay, and uh, very glad Summation sent that one to me, so big thanks again. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like the sword content, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.